does it feel, you know, with all the Oscar buzz and... It's so weird. I mean, you know, it's just very odd. You, you keep going, you keep doing your thing, yes. and then moments like these crop up. Mm. And it's just, I, I feel so blessed. So, so, so blessed. You deserve it. Thank you. You know, and your heart is in it, it's in your craft, and then people yeah. see that and they acknowledge yeah. that. Tell everyone about the movie. Yeah, so it's called The Holdovers, and that basically means like, you know, a Christmas break, The Holdover. And um, it's about, uh, it takes place in 1969 and 1970, technically, because it's over the mm -hmm. Christmas break. And um, it's about three people that ha end up coming together because they have to stay for over the break. So my character, Mary, um, is the head chef at the school. You, you see I said head chef, mm -hmm. not a cook. I see that. Not Nancy, a cook. head chef. She runs it, okay? Yes, ma'am. So uh, <laughs> she's a head chef, she has to cook for them. And so it's three people that are going through different stages of pain and grief mm -hmm. in their own way and in a very beautiful and unexpected way, they're forced to be together and they actually end up healing and, and working things out. It's really beautiful. Mm, my yeah. type of film, all day long. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Philadelphia. You're from Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And I see you had to get a, 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 like a serious accent for your character. Yeah. What accent was it? It was Boston, but to be clear, it was Boston in the 60s and 70s. Uh -huh. uh, and a black Boston dialect in the 60s and 70s. Uh -oh. Because, exact, because it's different. It's because different. like, Time how goes. people talk now, yep. like a Mark Wahlberg, for example, that's a different sound than, let's say, a person of color, and then definitely during that time period. Mm -hmm. So originally they were like, you know, it's fine, like Northeast, and I was like, no, 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 no. We gotta come correct, <laughs> we have to come correct. So I researched and researched, and I found this amazing man who I believe we've both worked with, Tom Jones. Tom Jones. See, they probably think it, Sir Tom Jones, not Sir Tom Jones, but the dialect coach, Tom Jones. Yes, I work with him on Respect. Yes. I work with him on Cats. I even work with him for the show at times. So yes. he's amazing. And he's amazing. Accents are very crucial to like characters and stuff like that. Yeah. So we go through all of these coaching sessions. So I want to hear like, yeah, you know, it Yeah, it. it took the character to a whole nother level. I also mm -hmm. loved him, I'm sure you did too, because of his musical background. Yes. And he loved the Lord, I'm just going to yes, say it. Yes, he does. So it- Tom is an angel! We he love you, Tom, I know you're watching. Tom. So we just got in there and we really broke it down. He's so smart in the research yes. and he was like, uh, this is close, but it yep. could be better. Yep. And it's funny because he would actually reference you a lot. Wow. And he would be like, oh, you guys have a lot of similarities. And he was like, but don't rely on your gift, push beyond that, That's which tough. I thought was so amazing. Please tell us, okay, how did you get started in showbiz? I actually started as a singer, oh. uh, and I'm technically a classically trained singer, oh, an wow. opera singer, which, by the way, I love what you did in Sing, oh. and it moved me, Thank and they you. thought it was so beautiful Thank that you. Jay had you portraying that character of all the characters. It, it really meant a lot to oh. me. Yeah, it was just really beautiful. And so, classically Thank trained you. singer, uh, and then uh, I transitioned to acting, uh, and so I technically graduated with an acting degree, mm. uh, completely, you know, not knowing what I was doing. Um, and so from there, I then went to graduate school. I went to Yale. Uh, and then, uh, thank you. You on the roll, honey. Thank you. And so, yeah, I ended up becoming an actor, graduated from Yale. The first thing they had me audition for was a musical. Two days later, my team called me and told me that I booked it, but I thought I booked the understudy part. So I was like, okay, cool, so you guys happy now? I booked it, you know what I mean? And, they, and then like a day later, they were like, I don't, sweetie, I don't think you understand what just happened. Right. You booked a lead in a musical. Come on, lead in the musical. Ooh, tell us about Rustin, your other film project. Rustin, so um, it's, uh, Bayard Rustin, mm -hmm. Netflix, um, George C. Wolf, the amazing guys, Coleman Domingo. Mm. If you didn't know his name before, he is so awesome. Know it now. That man is a powerhouse. We're both from Philadelphia. It's been such a beautiful joy to watch him ascend and grow. It is his moment, and he deserves it all. So it's basically uh, built around a real person who actually due to his sexual preference of who he chooses to date and be in bed with, people kept this history and news 
covered. And so this man was influential, arguably the orchestrator of what we know as the march on uh, Washington uh, and uh, was basically MLK's right-hand man. Uh, but again, because he was gay, they decided to bury this history. And so you just have all these beautiful pioneers. You know, we know the MLK story, but we don't know this story. Right. And we don't know it from this perspective. Uh, and so, so many amazing actors that we love and revere are involved in this project. Uh, this is Michelle and Barack's right. project, so yeah, that's that. amazing too. And I play, play Mahalia Jackson. Jackson. Wow, I've never seen that picture before. Oh my, it's so good. It feels like Mahalia. What was it like to sing as her? Well, you know, it, it's, there's one thing to be a vocalist. There's another thing to portray a real person. And from a musical standpoint, get into, I call it their musical posture, mm. right? Like your voice does certain things. I don't know if you experienced it with Aretha that like, yes, you can obviously sing all those notes and then some, right. but how she goes about making certain sounds. Right. I noticed that like, she has a more covered, open sound, kind of more in the back of her throat mm -hmm. to make these booming sounds, but she's not pushing right. where I would like, think that I had to just push it differently. Yeah, and belt it to the high heavens, but it was very controlled for her. Uh, it was an amazing, amazing experience. Um, Mahalia was uh, an artist that always was wafting in our house. Yes. My grandmother uh, loved well. her yes. and it was always on. And what's interesting is um, as I've continued to work more and more and wanting to produce and create my own things, there, I've made this little list of uh, women that I want to portray because I think in a way that's how I want to marry mm -hmm. between the singing and the acting and come back to mm -hmm. music in a certain way in which I would feel comfortable in. And it was a very private secret list. No one knows about this, like my own little journal, stuff underneath the pillow type of thing. And Mahalia was on it. So I got a call. I've never told anyone this. So I got a call from George C. Wolf, and he was like, I'm doing this project. I said, but that's great. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. <laughs> and I know, because I'm sitting here thinking, what, what does he want right. me to Why do is with he it? Telling me this? Yeah. And he was like, and I would love for you to portray Mahalia Jackson. And it was just, I knew it was God. There's yes, no way. I was say, it There's was God. no way. Yeah. Amazing. Now, I got to ask you one more question. Who else is on your list to play next? What's another? Um, Ella Fitzgerald. Ooh. I would love to portray. Nice. You know, but that voice got to be right. Uh huh. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Yes. Like, you, you can't play around with Ella. Like, it, she'll tell on you. Like, either you got it or you, you don't. Got, you got it. So, Ella Fitzgerald, um, Leontine Price. Leontine. Price. I would love to play Lee and that Team would Price. That amazing. Yeah. Um, uh, Pearl Bailey. Mm. Yeah. Well, we think you're amazing. Thank Congratulations you. on everything. I'm going to be looking forward to all of those projects. Will you come back again to see us? Absolutely. Oh, we love having you here so much. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.